30 years of LOINC, congratulations to all of you. I look forward to continuing to work with LOINC in a spirit of continuous improvement and collaboration, exchange in open dialogues, share our insights, and work collaboratively to refine and adapt standards like LOINC to meet the evolving needs of our industry. So here's to you and all of your community contributors. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. Here's to many more years of success. Hi, I'm Jessica Cronin. I'm a nurse and I'm an informaticist. I have the opportunity to serve as the LOINC Nursing Committee Co-Chair. First, I wanna say happy 30th anniversary, LOINC. Secondly, our group is made up of nurses from across the country who dedicate their time for advancing the use of LOINC to enable interoperability, data usability, and evidence-based practice. So come along with us and happy anniversary, LOINC. Hi, this is Bob Nist, uh, the interim CIO for Regan Street. And I just wanted to pass along my congratulations uh, to the Health Data Standards team for the 30th anniversary of the LOINC standard. I've only been at Regan Street here for a short time, uh, but I've already seen the enduring impact of this standard. In the uh, uh, data services team, uh, we certainly uh, benefit from this standard, whether it's bringing in data and manipulating it from the INPC, uh, whether it's uh, the standardized OMOP registries that we try to create, uh, or uh, software projects that we may be working on uh, with other teams such as uh, CBMI. So once again, congratulations to the team and uh, kudos for such a, a good, strong standard and enduring piece of work. Thanks. Happy birthday, Loink. In comparison to some of my colleagues, I'm a relative newcomer to understand the beauty and depth that Loink provides. Yet, I've always been a true believer and a user. Loink has always filled a critical niche, well, in fact, multiple niches in healthcare terminology standards. The openness and willingness to create what was needed at the time and was requested is something we all can run. One of the exciting things that I was able to accomplish over the past few years was to understand the depth of knowledge on it, particularly loin parts and goals, and that I could use those to create value sets and to link to other code systems. In addition, my past few years as a document ontology chairman, I've gotten to learn from and work with some incredible interesting people that make up the world. So happy birthday from Belize. May there be many more. Hi, I'm Susan Hickman. I'm the director of the IU Center for Aging Research at Regan Streif Institute. Congratulations to LOINC on 30 years of progress and innovation in interoperability and health data standards. LOINC codes serve as the hidden foundation for much of the research we do both here at the Institute and across the world. Kudos to the team for this innovative and impactful work and best wishes for another 30 years of progress in health data standards and interoperability. Happy birthday, Lincoln team. We start seeing Clem McDonald and Stan Huff efforts for widespread adoption of low-ink realizing. This is great to improve patient care, patient data management, as well as the future use of real-world data and evidences. I am Xavier Gansel. Lab Data and Probability Leader, working for Biomario, a French in vitro diagnostic system manufacturer and world leader in clinical microbiology. Starting in 2015 and 16, with the very early days of the future FDA Shield initiative, IVD manufacturers got involved in supporting low ink adoption and implementation. This translated in the IRIVD specification, the IHC lab automation workflow mis engine, also known as IHC low, its translation to CLSI Auto 16 and lastly CLSI Auto 17. Those are made available in their system by several IVD manufacturers. This is the case for Biomario, where more than 90% of our product portfolio is offered low and coded. From a Biomario perspective, we see several hundreds of LIVD downloads yearly worldwide, as well as low income customer support requests from North America. European Union and Middle East countries, and last but not least, IHE law request. Those did not exist some years ago. The trend is here, but, but it needs to be encouraged and supported by health authorities to grow quicker and higher. 
this would not have been possible without the loan commitments. Once again, happy birthday, Long. Hi, this is Chuck Jaffe. On behalf of HL7, I'd like to congratulate Loink on three decades of standards development excellence. Through our collaboration, we've been able to move even closer toward the desired mutual goal of true interoperability. Moreover, we look forward to the next decade as the progress toward that end continues. Thank you. Congratulations. And thanks to everyone who's been so actively involved in this wonderful effort in the community of LOINC for so many years. I am proud to acknowledge the many wonderful things that have been accomplished, including broad international uptake and the ability to stand with the other giants of the healthcare terminology landscape in facilitating effective healthcare information storage, retrieval, and communication across so many systems, domains, and subject areas. It's all possible because of all of you wonderful people involved and having such a great organization to support and encourage the efforts. I look forward to many more years of brilliant and creative advancement of LOINC and working with all of you to help make this happen. Hi, I'm Joyce Hurtko, the Chief Operating Officer at Regan Streif Institute. Today, I would like to recognize LOINC on this auspicious anniversary. To LOINC's founders, the hundreds of passionate volunteers over the past 30 years, and to the current team led by Dr. Marjorie Rollins, I joyfully celebrate each of you and the important work you do every day to provide universal codes and the names that provide a common language for identifying health measurements, observations, and documents for interoperable data exchange. Here's wishing you and LOINC continued success for many years to come. Cheers. LOINC. LOINC. Hello, my name is Shelley Lapon, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Snowman International. On behalf of Snowman International, our Management Board, and our General Assembly, we would like to congratulate the LOINC team on their 30th anniversary. Over the past three decades, the LOINC standard has played a pivotal role in the global standards ecosystem. Regan Streep and the LOINC team have been a vital partner of Snowman International beginning with the development of the linkage table and now the work the two teams are doing in regards to the development of the LOINC extension. The latest project, which has gone out to the community for comment, promises to be an industry leading interoperability solution. And the de dedication of the LOINC team along with the Snowman International team has made this all possible. The communities of both Snowman International and LOINC are very excited to implement this this groundbreaking solution, which will allow for the ease of use with both standards in their health systems. So again, Snowman International would like to congratulate LOINC on its 30th anniversary, and we hope you enjoy the celebration. Hi everyone, and congratulations LOINC on your 30th birthday. It won't surprise any of you that when I say that I'm an old man who got involved in biomedical informatics and electronic health records long before LOINC existed. The Regan Streif Medical Records System had its own proprietary database, and one of my fellowship duties under CLEM was to link more than 20,000 diagnosis terms to ICD-9. I got a real schooling in how much of a mess different coding systems were. CLEM and Dan and Marjorie have worked hard to reduce this tower of coding babble for observations to LOINC, which has become the standard across the globe. What an achievement. LOINC's 30 years are just a preamble to many more decades of global leadership in creating a common lingua franca for recording observations. It could not be in better hands.
Hi, folks. Uh, I'm Chris Shoot. I'm Chief Research Information Officer at Johns Hopkins, and it's my enormous pleasure to make these commentaries for the celebration of LOINC. I've known about LOINC for an awful long time. I, I remember when HL7 was a system where the message you received, there was always a surprise inside. You didn't know what the payload was going to be, even for laboratory data. And of course, Clem fixed that. He came up with, with Lab LOINC originally, and the, the rest is history. Uh, our capacity to have more ordered and structured information has been enormously enhanced with the contributions of Reagan Streif and, and, and Link and uh, the community around it. Um, I'm pleased to say that I work closely with Link these days in Reagan Streif. Uh, I know uh, David Barado and, and others have shown me the, the inner sanctum of uh, named parts and uh, structured content and linked information. Link seems simple on the surface, but actually there's a tremendous amount of sophistication under the hood. And uh, for that, we are all grateful. But I want to be brief. Uh, my, my, my kudos to the many years of, of Link's existence and its celebration, and may it continue in a way that we can all be proud of. Thank you. Today, we happily celebrate 30 years of achievement in Link. LOINC, like any major broadly adopted healthcare terminology, has had an outsized impact on not just the process of healthcare, but also the economics. I remember that when I was working at hc1.com, a local laboratory company, our technical staff were always very happy when laboratory results data came in as LOINC. They breathed a big sigh of relief because it made everything so much easier. LOINC has developed significantly in the last few years from adding genetic testing information to COVID to social determinants of health. And I expect that evolution to continue. Today, I would like to put out a particular challenge for LOINC and its collaborators. We need to integrate information about climate change in all major biomedical vocabularies, including LOINC. In order to understand the effects on health of climate change, we need to be able to measure and analyze it. And LOINC will have to be part of that. So with that, here is some homework for the next 30 years. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brian Dixon, and I am the Interim Director of the Center for Biomedical Informatics at the Regan Street Institute. I'm sorry that I can't be with you, with you all, but I wanted to wish you a very hearty congratulations on 30 years. LOINC means uh, a lot to me. The LOINC team gave me my start as a computer scientist and also started my career as a researcher in studying how LOINC was being used in public health. Today, LOINC remains critical to the work that we're doing in public health. Everything from supporting electronic laboratory reporting to biosurveillance, to monitoring the health of populations for those with chronic diseases. So I am uh, personally grateful to LOINC and everywhere I go when I talk about LOINC, people are so appreciative of the work that all of you do, the team, the committee, the working groups, uh, all of it. So uh, thank you and keep up the good work. Congratulations on 30 years and here's to the next 30. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Cullen. I'm a family medicine doc. I had the privilege of working at Reagan Street for a few years, where during that time, for a few months, I was the acting co-director of LOINC. I want to give a big shout out to LOINC for 30 years of amazing work, work that has been transformative, and it has had an impact on everything we do. I work in public health right now. Every day, we rely on the standards that LOINC has produced. These standards help ensure that the data that we have and that we utilize can be linked to standards that can be aggregated. Based on that aggregation, we're able to understand what's happening in the community. That information and knowledge helps guide our decision making and helps us develop implementations that will make a difference. I also had the privilege of asking Link to help me develop the codes for adverse childhood experiences. This is now about eight years ago. It felt like a huge advance. And that information, those codes, were then used to allow us to look at long-term evaluation of the impact of average childhood events and experiences. That's been transformative for the work that I do, but also for the work that we do throughout the globe. So I just want to give a big shout out 
Thanks for everybody that helped make this happen. And here's looking to another great 30 years for LOINC. Hello, I'm Craig Brader, and I have the privilege to serve as the chair of the board for the Institute. And of course, I've been involved with the Institute uh, for a number of years in my prior roles at Indiana University. This has afforded me the opportunity to see LOINC in action, and it is incredible. I'm sorry I cannot be at this 30 year celebration, but it really marks three decades of incredible accomplishments. And I think it's important that we take an opportunity like this to take a step back and really take a good hard look at the stupendous impact that LOINC has had over the years. Uh, it is truly marvelous and little appreciated uh, outside those who are in the standard space. So Loink is truly an unsung hero in the world's approach to med medical care. Uh, it's had impact both locally and nationally and around the world that is truly immeasurable and we should all be proud. I want to thank all the people who have been in Loink for, since its beginning for all these accomplishments. I regret that I can't be there in person, but uh, really celebrate and have fun and I'll be thinking of you. Thank you.